year to fight for protective gear in her hospital because there just wasn't enough. I'm here today for all the doctors, nurses and healthcare workers who lost their lives tragically and senselessly to COVID. More than 200 healthcare workers have died in Britain so far. Two thirds of them were ethnic minorities. Here in the United Kingdom, data has shown that the virus does indeed discriminate, even though everybody has access to free healthcare. Experts are unsure about the reasons, but say they vary from overcrowded housing to pre-existing medical conditions. What is clear though is that COVID-19 reveals long-standing existing inequalities in British society, which rings true in this multi-ethnic neighborhood of Brixton, one of the COVID hotspots in the capital. Black patients in hospitals across the country are four times more likely to die from coronavirus than white ones. Most people here are aware and have changed their behavior. It makes me more careful. I don't go out much. Most of the time I'm indoors. I go out only just to get the essentials, that's all. I'm just thinking it's something that's killing everybody and I just need to keep myself and my family safe. That's the main thing. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not focusing on the fact that it's black that are dying. I don't even have a group, nothing my mouth, nothing gloves. God is protecting me, covers me. So far, medics and experts haven't figured out why minorities in the UK are so disproportionately affected by COVID-19. The government launched an inquiry last month. There's also been discussion of shielding minorities from frontline jobs, an unrealistic approach, some say, given economic priorities. But there are limited social protections for workers of these kinds and um, it, it's all very well to, to sort of say you need to sort of stay away um, from other people as far as possible but if it's a choice between that and earning a living and looking after your families uh, some people will be presented with 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 a dilemma back at downing street dr mina this hopes to encourage others to also speak up to prevent more death of ethnic minority patients and her colleagues. And